Hey everyone, Jim with Evolution Power Sports here today to talk about Maverick R fuel system components. The first product I want to talk about is our fuel pump upgrade for the Maverick R. And some of you may know that Can-Am used the same fuel pump assembly in the Maverick R that they used in the uh, earlier X3s, the 2018 Plus R and RR models. Okay, so which is already a good fuel system, built-in surge tank, you know, very, very good. The problem with it is the, the pump itself is very small. So, uh, which is a problem when we're trying to run E85. Even on the X3s, we had to replace the pump itself on E85. But this car, you know, on E85 tune, you know, makes 300 wheel horsepower. So we definitely had to uh, upgrade the pump to something much more, uh, that, that was able to flow a lot more. And we've done that. Uh, while we were doing that, we, we also wanted to make this upgrade easy for customers so that they could keep their stock at fuel injectors, okay? And the Maverick R being a twin injector setup, we felt like there was enough flow there um, on the injectors to be able to do that if we could raise the pressure. So we built uh, our own billet fuel hat uh, for the fuel pump assembly. And what that allows us to do is use a generic Bosch fuel pressure regulator, which is available in different base pressures uh, to match the Maverick R, it's a five and a half bar, I'm sorry, four and a half bar. And what we do is we, we set it up so it's rising rate. So now we can get the fuel flow and fuel pressure we need to run E85 tunes, you know, up to, you know, about 310 wheel horsepower. So great upgrade, very simple, cost effective for the customers. The other thing I wanted to mention is uh, our fuel pump assembly can be used either a static fuel pressure or rising rate, uh, just by simply hooking up a boost reference port to the regulator. We also include a billet fuel filter uh, as part of this. And the problem with the OEM assembly is it does have a filter in it, but it's not replaceable. So when that filter clogs up, you basically have to replace the entire fuel pump assembly. Ours has a 100 micron stainless steel filter inside that's very easily replaceable. Our fuel pump assembly also has a ton of overhead in it. Uh, the pump itself is good for close to 400 wheel horsepower. It is 100% direct replacement for the OEM pump assembly. It has the correct fitting on the top, which mates to the OEM fuel hose. But because it is a much higher amp draw than the factory pump, which is driven directly off of two pins on the ECU, we do supply a relay harness, which takes the load off of the ECU and transfers it to the battery. The next product we wanna talk about is uh, our billet fuel rail, but we'll start with the OEM rail and the shortcomings that we see. Uh, first of all, it's not a lot of volume in the rail, okay, which is a problem when you're trying to flow a lot of fuel for you know, E85 big horsepower tunes. Uh, the second thing is that we're a little bit concerned about the plastic end where the fuel hose connects. It's an SAE 3 uh connection and where the fuel hose meets it, there's some concern that under you know, harsh conditions that this could break off and that would be catastrophic. Our fuel rail, all billet aluminum, uh, and we've made a number of improvements over the OEM. Uh, first of all, on the inlet side, this fitting is replaceable. So you can either, it will come with the OEM, the correct OEM fitting, so you don't have to change your hose, but you can also go up to a dash eight fuel line if you need it uh, on the inlet. On the outlet side, it comes with a plug. So it'll be, it'll function identically to the factory fuel rail. But if you ever decide to do a return style fuel system, which is common on some race cars, you can simply come out of the end of, of the rail and go to whatever fitting you need for the return hose. The fuel rail has 30% more capacity than the OEM, which is really important with E85 big horsepower tunes. Okay, we don't want to starve an injector by, by running out of fuel in the rail and having that extra capacity gives us some overhead. Uh, the last thing we want to talk about is we got rid of the OEM injector clips, which are really troublesome to get on and off for a lot of people. Uh, instead, we have this elegant uh, retaining clip 
made from spring steel. Uh, it's one clip per two injectors and it's secured with a socket head cap screw, which is really, really nice. All of our fuel system upgrades are designed not only to meet the needs of the E85 tunes today, but also for where we're going, which is obviously a big turbo upgrade. So stay tuned for more.